Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video we're going to talk about using Radarist with the Full Focus Planner. Okay, so in a previous video I talked all about a new free web app that I developed called Radarist. So I'm not going to go into all the details about what Radarist is. If you didn't have a chance to catch that video, there should be a link somewhere above my head appearing here on the video. Uh, and I'll also leave a link below to that video. Kind of the abbreviated version of it is that I like to create what I like to call a radar list, a list of big projects and goals that I pull from or kind of use as a roadmap for the day. Part of the problem that I mentioned in that previous video with so much, so many productivity tools and apps out there today is that they give you these lists of, of lists of lists and you kind of lose sight of the bigger goals and bigger projects that you're trying to make progress on. So a radar list is very simple. In essence, it's just a list of, like I said, big projects and tasks alongside one next action one simple thing that is required to move that forward. Now, whether that's something that you're gonna to do today or tomorrow or this week, either way, it's going to be a simple next action. Okay, so one of the things that I've talked about a lot in the past is of course, how much of a fan I've been ever since it first came out of the Full Focus Planner. And I remain a big fan to this day. And one of the reasons, one of the big key features built into the Full Focus Planner that I have found the most useful out of everything is the whole idea of doing a weekly and a daily big three finding the specific things that you need to get done that day, rather than looking at all the tasks that you have to do and then sorting through and then kind of stressing out, does that need to get done today? Does that need to get done today? By limiting it to three, to a weekly big three, and to a daily big three, you get to hone in and prioritize on those things that you need to move forward. Now, one of the challenges that I found myself running into with that is when I was sitting down to pick my daily big three. Because what I was doing is I was working within Basecamp, within Slack, within email, within a number of uh, things by Cultured Code, a Mac app I've talked about in the past. And so what I found really difficult was going through all my big projects, because most, some of them are in Basecamp, like, like I said, some of them are in things, and just getting a simple list. What are the things that I need to pull from in order to make my daily big three? So that's why I actually decided to make Radarist in the first place, was to make it simple. I've got one place I can go to to see a nice bird's eye view of all the big projects and goals that I need to work on. Now, one of the things that is great about the Full Focus Planner is that it does have a goals section at the beginning of the planner so that you can come up with your quarterly goals. So they've got goal details that you can create, but on the very first page or the very first official page of the planner, it's got annual goals and then the planner uh, or the quarter in which you want to achieve those particular goals. So that's even another place. You've got the annual goals, you have the uh, big projects and that sort of thing. So planning it and doing it in a planner is great. However, what I thought of that I really would like to see and something that I would pull from is being able to pull from one list of big goals as well as individual projects. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Radarist and I'm gonna show you my list of big projects and goals that I've got on my radar, so to speak. And then I'm gonna jump over and I'm gonna kind of overlay some of how I incorporate that with the full focus planner. So let's go ahead and jump in here. And once I'm inside Radarist, you're gonna see here that I've got my list of uh, things that I uh, want to get done. So this is, these are my big projects. Now, again, I'm not gonna go into all the details of how to use Radarist and all the little features built in, just gonna show you kind of the basics so you can see how I use this to plan out my day alongside the full focus planner. Okay, so what I've got here is built into Radarist is a list of, so you get a numbers off to the side, right? So what I use that as essentially is priority. So what I do every single day to start my days, I go through and I review all of the different items that are on my Radarist. These could be goals, these could be big projects. For me, right now, they're mainly just big projects. So right now at the top of my list, since I've already kind of ordered this, is that I'm shooting this exact video right now. Uh, so I've got it, my big goal or my big project is just Rightly TV and the next 
action is I'm going to shoot this particular video. One of the things I've got in here as well is my bullet points as the links. So I'm not going to go into all the details here, but I use Bear to plan out all of my uh, show notes that I'm writing. So all I do if I want to reference those is click this little link. It's going to open in Bear. And there you go. I've got all of the different things that I wanted to talk about in this particular video. Then I've got some client projects. So again, what I like to do is go through this every single day and I have to ask the question, have I finished this front page mock-up? Uh, and then, you know, that sort of thing. What's kind of the higher priorities, priorities out of these? I'm getting ready to go on an Idaho trip. So I want to make sure that that's moving forward as well. And then again, I go through all of these individual pieces, make sure that uh, the individual pieces of action have been taken in order to move these forward. As you can see this one, I'm currently, I what I do is if it's not something that I need to take action on, that's that day, if I'm waiting on a client or a customer, I put the word waiting. Uh, you can see for this one, I've got a meeting Tuesday to actually discuss that one. This one I'm currently waiting. Uh, so I stick those down at the bottom of my list. Then what I do when I'm ready to plan out my day is I consider, okay, so what are the next things that I need to work on? So these right here, are going to become either my daily or my weekly big three. So if I'm doing my weekly planning, so Sunday nights, I typically do my weekly big three in the full focus planner. I review this list and I take a look at everything and I kind of estimate which big projects I want to make the most progress on. And those are the three things I add to my weekly big three. Similarly, every day I go through and I sort these out. I say, I want to get this one done here. Or I want to get this one done here. And then once I've sorted them, by default, I've already created my daily big three. So then I go over to the planner and I actually write those out. So what I do is I write out uh, the name of the big project or goal followed by the specific task I'm gonna take that day to move that goal or project forward. And there you go, that's my daily big three. Um, essentially just using Raiderist as kind of a list from which to pull to do that planning. Then what I do is what I like to call my overflow tasks. So the full focus planner then provides you with a, a spot for other tasks. So what I'm gonna do at that point is if there's any tasks that don't fit within this list somewhere, maybe they're not a part of a big project, so to speak, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to review, uh, you know, any emails I'm going through, or just little things that might slip through the cracks. That's why the full fo having something like the full focus planner is so important because you can make sure that you're always keeping the smaller things uh, as well as the bigger things in focus for getting those done. So what I do, daily big three, go through and I map those out to make sure that those are moving forward, uh, pulling from my radar list. And then for my secondary tasks, I make sure that I'm pulling those uh, from other tasks from within the planner. Okay, so that's it. I know this was a really simple, short tip, but I wanted to share with you why I decided to actually create Radar, uh, Radarist along with the current workflow I use within the Full Focus Planner. Again, just to kind of recap, you may have the same challenge as well, which is that when it comes to picking those daily big three, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult because it's easy to lose sight of bigger projects and goals. Part of what makes the Full Focus Planner so powerful is that it is a goal planning and tracking uh, mechanism kind of inherent with it. Kind of using a hybrid approach with a digital app has made it simpler, at least for me, to kind of keep throughout the day in focus those specific big projects and tasks that I wanna focus on. And then of course, taking the important action of writing it down. One thing I did wanna answer though, because I could see a potential question or comment coming up, which is that, well, if you're essentially using this list to go through the process of creating your daily big three, why do you need the planner at all? So there's a lot of different reasons for why I still write these down. The biggest reason why I still write these down is because A, the act of actually writing it down has made for me a bigger impact in terms of how much I'm going to be able to remember. I find that once I go through the process of planning, I don't even really need to even look at the planner to figure out what I need to do next. This app kind of helps keep in focus, but that is a just kind of a self-discipline exercise that helps with that. Another reason why I really like this planner is something else that I'll do as I'm working on that particular project or task of my daily big three, I will write 
a little one or a number or something next to that particular item. And then I jump over to that daily notes section and I start writing down notes relevant to that particular task that I'm working on. Perhaps I realize, oh, I need to do this. Or perhaps I know I notice, oh, I need to follow up with this client or I need to purchase this subscription. Those all end up on the right hand side on my notes column, which then get added to the list of tasks or projects or to Raiderist or whatever place it needs to be filed, it ends up going there. So again, it's kind of a digital and a analog hybrid approach, but I found that using this list in tandem with the full focus planner has helped make both tools more useful. Okay, so that's it. So uh, as always, I highly recommend, if you're not already a full focus planner user, I highly recommend that at the bare minimum. I recommend just go and buy a quarterly planner and try it out for a quarter. I've been using the planner ever since it originally came out and I've been using it ever since to the point where it's actually kind of helping me adopt a methodology alongside the full focus planner for getting more done in a day. Also, as I mentioned in the previous video, if you'd like to give Raiderist a try, it's totally free. So so just go ahead and head on over to radar.ist radarist. I'll also leave a link below this video if you'd like to check it out. So as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.